Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user fluffykitty12 posted Employees of Walmart, what is the weirdest thing you've ever seen at work? This one time while working in electronics, this dude came up to one of my co-workers and said he'd cut himself on one of the displays and that he needed medical attention. We threw a shitty off-brand band-aid on his cut and sent him on his way. A couple of hours later I noticed something wedged in between two of the displays and I pulled it out. It was an empty, prepaid phone case with a large slit down the side of the plastic mould and a blood stain on the exposed cardboard packaging. Turns out the guy had cut his hand open while trying to seal one of our phones and had the audacity to ask us for help. My favourite was the guy who came in and said, I lost the remote so I need a new TV. I asked him if the TV was broken. It wasn't. He just lost the remote and didn't want to bother finding it so he wanted a new TV. I showed him our selection of universal remotes. He responded with, but then I'd have to program it. The new TV comes with a pre-programmed remote. So I sold the guy a 50 inch TV. Found a woman passed out naked in sporting goods about 2 a.m. while working nights. We had no idea how no one had noticed her because we found articles of her clothing all over the store, including in the back storage area. Called police and ambulance. She was very, very drugged and was unable to communicate at all. Former Walmart employee, hope that counts. Not nearly as weird as some of these, but I watched a disgruntled employee spear five to six large TVs with a forklift-like picker used to pull pallets off the top shelves in the back. He said he was sick on the job and had done everything he could think of to get fired, but wasn't having any luck. It was near Christmas and they apparently needed people so badly he didn't get fired over this either. After coming back from a talk with the manager, he finished his shift, now banned from using anything bigger than a pallet jack, and when his shift was over he said, fuck it, I'm not coming back. If that didn't get me fired, I don't know what will. I worked as a third shift stock boy for Walmart throughout college. One of the most interesting jobs I've ever had. One of my favourite stories was one night about 3am a bunch of kids came in wearing bandanas and riding adult sized big wheels about as fast as they could. They made it clear across the store to the soda and stole about five two litres and a bunch of chips and snacks. The entire staff just watched this happen. Seemed par for the course. I have a lot of other stories about the rest of the staff from my group, but this one requires the least amount of backstory. Ex-employee of the produce department. Someone returned a mango to the store saying they didn't need it anymore. It was returned, cut up into three different slices and stitched back up with scotch tape. I... What? Edit, I have a pic somewhere, let me find it for you all. Wow, look at that thing. Looks like they gave it to a child to patch up. I've been at Walmart for almost 10 years, worked in almost every department. I've had people return sliced watermelon, steak with grill marks, an empty cake box because they already ate the cake but it had too much icing, extremely used vacuum cleaners, half empty paint cans. It's insane. I had a customer treat me like a human being once. It was nice. One night a drunk chick dropped her pants and took a piss right outside our electronics department because the guy cleaning the bathroom wouldn't let her in. On a separate night, a woman couldn't hold it and pooped the whole way to the bathroom from the front door. I was buying shoes at a Walmart and I heard someone yelling in the next aisle. I peek around the corner and there's a man holding a pair of rubber rain boots being yelled at by one of the employees. He suddenly drops the boots and threw his hands up in the air for some reason and when the boots hit the floor, a bunch of yellow liquid came spilling out of one of them. The guy had been taking a piss in the rubber boots. I went to Payless and got me some shoes after that. I wasn't about to try on any Walmart shoes. A bunch! A guy shopping with long hair, dressed in a brown terry robe, bunny slippers, the real thing, how do you even find these? Straw gardening hat and sunglasses. Another employee was assisting him with shopping and reaching objects and shelves. People using the fitting rooms as a bathroom or leaving feminine products inside. Yup. A woman went to try on a bra and bled all over it from an open wound on her side and we had to biohazard that crap. A girl puked on me. I got to go home early that day. In the grocery section, a pretty big, tall guy was grabbing onto the banana display, the kind that hangs out from the ceiling on a 30-foot rope and shot putting the bananas so far they swung out over the meats section. Almost hit the deli sign, then came swinging back and he caught it. He stopped when he saw me watching him. Kids throwing puppet fireworks everywhere while running through the store, freaking out the managers as they set some off in the chemicals and cleaners aisle. A few years back I worked at Walmart as an assistant manager. I was working a 12pm to 10pm shift and the overnight manager called off sick. 
So I stayed until 4 a.m. so somebody working mornings could come in early and we could have it covered. Anyway, it was February in Northern Illinois. The temperature outside at 2 a.m. was about 6 degrees. At about 2.30, I get a call over the walkie-talkie to come over to the pharmacy and that you've got to see this. I went up to the pharmacy and see two younger guys. One was dressed in a lifeguard's outfit complete with a thick coating of sunscreen on his nose. The other was dressed in a complete walrus costume. I half followed these guys to the store to make sure that they weren't going to do something stupid like pull fire alarms etc and caught up with what everyone was doing stocking shelves. I lost contact with them because they weren't bothering anybody and just went about my business. About half an hour later I made my way up to the front registers and asked the cashier if she had seen the lifeguard and the walrus. She said that not only had she seen them but they had made a purchase. The lifeguard found some sunscreen in the clearance aisle and the walrus got a pack of salmon from the seafood department. They paid with cash and went on their way. One time I was coming off break and passed two older men. They looked a little odd but I only caught a glance at one of them at first which caused me to stop and turn around. Two men in what looked like their mid-fifties with tan skin wearing Bavarian barmaid dresses complete with shoes and pigtails were walking through the store shopping. I made eye contact for a moment and I got the most serious look from one of them. They were acting like it wasn't unusual at all. To this day I'm still not sure what was going on. There were no events in the area at that time where people would be dressed up. I used to work in the garden centre of Walmart. There was an apartment complex on the other side of our fence. I noticed a guy standing by the fence on the outside in the apartment complex. About 10 minutes later another comes running from in the store, TV in a hand and chucks it over the 10 foot fence. His friend caught it and took it off running into the complex. They earned that TV. I work in the deli. I once saw a woman on a motor scooter throw a rotisserie chicken at her husband because he had brought her the wrong item. It slid about 10 feet as the door greeted and I just stared at each other. Lost. She drove off, leaving her husband behind. I have never seen a man look so broken down. Also, someone huffing those cans of keyboard duster in the bathroom and someone asleep on the toilet, pants down and snoring. I'm an overnight manager at a super centre in a bad part of town. One night we were watching this guy stealing a flashlight from the sporting goods on camera. We apprehend him but after much searching we can't find what he did with the item. So after a while we have the guy sitting on a bench and he's kind of squirming around. Turns out he put the flashlight up his ass. Hazmat suits were needed. Out of high school I got a job at a local Walmart as a 29 aka cart pusher. Anyways, it was almost closing time and I ended up helping a customer take out some merchandise. Right behind the customer service desk and exit doors was what appeared to be the top of a chocolate ice cream, swirling all on the ground. I assumed it fell off someone's ice cream cone from McDonald's. I holler that I'll be right back to clean it up. I get back inside and notice this ice cream has not melted one bit. Curiosity got the best of me so I decided to lean down and get a whiff of it just to confirm it was ice cream. It was not ice cream. Someone somehow managed to drop a turd right in plain view with an ice cream swirl shape. That was 10 years ago and it still blows my mind to this day. One time this woman saw some ice creams in one of our ads and we didn't actually carry it because we weren't a super centre. Needless to say I almost got punched in the face. She couldn't fathom the idea of us not carrying this raspberry ice cream. She was talking like, what? No, it's in your ad. Why? Where is it? It should be right here. After explaining in fine detail the reason we didn't carry it, she got right in my face and yelled at me at the top of her lungs. Her boyfriend just stood there and watched without emotion. She was most definitely cracked out on something. Also, just today an old woman shit in the freezer aisle and walked away. It smelled really, really bad. Walmart nonsense I endured as a service desk associate. Circa 2002. Number 1. A couple came in to return a GameCube because their kid didn't like it. For any of the systems we had to ensure that all the components were in place so I proceeded to go through the box, console check, controller check, AV cable check, topless polaroid of the woman, I hand back to the couple, power supply check, being a pro I didn't even blink, they freaked but once they realised I wasn't going to respond they calmed down enough to complete the return once they were out of sight slash earshot I damn near wet myself. Number 2 Tail end of the academic year near a local, albeit sketchy, university. Twenty-something comes in to return a futon. It's clearly been in use for several years despite their protesting. At the time, if you pitched enough of a fit, a manager would put anything on a gift card for its current store value. Off the top of my head, I want to say $50, but it could have been $100. Anyway, this thing was disgusting. 
every imaginable stain was clearly visible. To do this kind of no receipt return with no visible barcode, someone had to get a UPC and then a supervisor had to use a key to overwrite the return. This happened around 10.30pm when your second shift is usually wrapping up. Gotta be gone by 11pm. Anyway, cash office lady was on our break so all the cashiers were milling around whilst I waited on someone to get the UPC or override the return. The whole time the cashiers are making fun of the futon and busting on its condition. All the while the customer is silently sitting there fuming as they take stabs at the mystery stains. The cashiers had no clue the customer was the individual associated with the futon. Anyway, the final cashier rolls up, takes one look and is like, Are we taking this back? Are we taking this back? I'm like, yeah, pretty much. To which she loses it. She goes off just mentioning the most suspect stains. At this point, a manager walks up to the key in the override. I complete the transaction and give the customer their gift card. All of the cashiers lose it, just laughing and pointing. This college kid storms out furious. Totally worth it for the store to eat the foot on for this kid to have been some embarrassed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed what you have heard. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.